today's workout. Okay, so hopefully you can all see the screen. So we have five three minute AMRAPs. If you need to jot this down while I'm talking, then do so. So every round will begin with 60 seconds of air squats. Once that first minute is up, you're gonna go into 15 burpees. And then the remaining time, max single arm dumbbell clusters. Okay, so if the 15 burpees take you another 60 seconds, you will then have 60 seconds on those clusters. That is where you get your score today. Those clusters added up over all of the rounds, total clusters is your score. You will generously get a minute's rest between your rounds, okay? The 60 seconds of air squats, where it's looking for continuous movement, okay? So I don't want you trying to move so fast that you have to rest in that minute. I would like to see 60 seconds of continuous movement and then allow you to go into those burpees and hit them hard to give yourself enough time on the dumbbell, okay? I will pop this in the chat in a sec. And what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna get James to demo all of the warm up movements. Once he's demoed them, we'll get you guys going through the warm up. Okay, I'll just stop sharing now. Okay, so first movement are gonna be lunge rotations. Okay, so you're gonna come into a lunge position and want you to keep your back knee off of the floor, okay? And then James is gonna, if his left leg's forward, he's gonna take his left arm through at the bottom and then reach up to the top. So at the bottom, he's gonna try and get his forearm or elbow as close to the floor as he can. And then he's gonna reach up tall to the ceiling. He's gonna go five on one side and then he'll switch and go five on the other. Second movement, a bit of a combination here. We're gonna squat. As we stand up, we're gonna bring a high knee and then we're gonna step that high knee into a lunge. Go again, it's gonna be squat, grab a knee into a lunge. No, one more for me, James. Squat, high knee, lunge, all right? And then roll and reach is our third movement. Okay, he's gonna be sat on the floor, taking his legs over his head as far as he can get them and then reaching forward with that straddled leg position. So our rep scheme, guys, the lunge rotations, five on each side. The squat, high knee lunge, you're gonna go five on each side. If you wanna do all five on one side, all five on the other, that's cool. If you wanna alternate, that's also fine. And then five, roll and reach. We're gonna do three rounds, okay? It's the first part of our warm up tonight. You have any questions on the warm up? If not, get going when you're ready, guys. Lunge rotations to begin with. Long lunge position, okay? Back leg relatively straight, knee off the floor. And if your right leg is forward, it's your right arm that is rotating up and then try to get our forearm or elbow as close to the floor as you can. Five per side. And then once you've done these lunge rotations, we're into that. Squat, grab that knee high into your chest and then step forward into a lunge with that same leg. 10 in total, you can either alternate sides or do all five on one side or five on the other. Today's workout is going in the chat. And then that third movement is our roll and reach. Sat on the floor, legs as far over our head as is comfortable. If we can get our feet to touch the floor, great. And then as you come forward, straddle those legs as wide as you can and reach forward with the arms.
think Johnny Hampshire, you've just joined us. Let's take a look at James. We've got five lunge rotations per side. So begin your warm up. With each round, it's getting a little bit warmer, a little bit looser. Try and work that range of motion. Can we get our elbow a little bit lower in the lunge rotations? Can we squeeze the knee a bit higher on the squat high knee lunge? Can we reach a bit further forward on the roll and reach? Three rounds in total, guys. Once we finish with this body weight warm up, we'll go into a secondary warm up with our weighted object. Once you finish a third round, just relax and we'll go through the second part of that warm up. No rush to get this done, guys. Once you are done, make sure you've got a drink, make sure you've got those tunes ready and just let everyone catch up before moving on. Anyone's got anything other than a dumbbell or kettlebell, let me know. So if you're using a barbell or a sandbag, or you have no equipment at all, let me know. Okay guys, so we'll start just going through the second part of the warm up. So if you're still going, just listen up as well. So with your dumbbell or kettlebell. So assume the majority will have that. The second part of our warm up. Pick a side, we're gonna go three dumbbell deadlifts. Okay, Christian, I'll come to you in a bit, minute, buddy. So just taking that dumbbell just outside your leg, you're gonna hit three reps. Then you're gonna take the dumbbell up to the front rack position, still on one arm, you're gonna hit three front squats. 
And then once you've done the three there, we're gonna go three push press. Good. We're gonna do that twice on each side. So three deadlifts, three front squats, three push press, twice through. Christian, for this part of the warm up, buddy, if you just do three rounds of um, four deadlifts, four front squats, four push press, um, and I'll write in the chat in a minute how you'll, uh, oh no, you don't need to modify this for the workout, Christian. You'll just do max barbell clusters. All right, buddy, well done. You're wrong, Mia. So you've either misheard or Laura is wrong. There's a power jerk or a push jerk. There's a push press. There's not a power press. Never heard of a power press in my life. You, James? No, it was a cluster. Nor is James. Oh. I'm going to tell Laura you said she's wrong, Mia. So just to recap then guys, two rounds per side, three dumbbell deadlifts, three dumbbell front squats, three push press, four kettlebell, four barbell. <laughs> yeah, it's possible Stasi, maybe Mia has invented a new lift. But she's in the lead on the Zoom session, she thinks she knows everything these days. Is it one arm per round cam? Do you mean for the warm up? Uh, the wad. Uh, we'll go. Um, we'll go through this now. So um, how we're going to split it up? All right. Give me two seconds. Okay, guys. So it looks like most of you are done. If you're not, just finish up and then listen up. So uh, you all know how to air squat. You all know how to do burpees. Let's go through the single arm dumbbell cluster. Okay, so cluster is a thrust, a clean into a thruster. So from the floor, James is going to come up and drop back underneath it into that full squat and then come out the top into a thruster. Okay, so do these with barbells a lot. Floor, clean it into that full squat, clean, come out of the squat into the thruster. Cool, let's do. One from the side, floor, clean it, take it overhead. Okay, now I would suggest, so Cam, back to your question earlier, it's not gonna be one arm per round. Each round, you will either alternate arms, which I would recommend, or pick um, a rep scheme in which you're gonna change. So you might do three on one side, three on the other, and keep going back and forth in threes, okay? but. Not too big, don't alternate every 10, but three to five, that would be okay. Or like I said, alternate each side. Uh, Christian, you've got a barbell, so you're just gonna hit those uh, barbell clusters, floor every time, clean it, thruster it. So what I would suggest now, guys, let's get a few reps in of that full movement, okay? Let's get used to it. Not too many, maybe two, three, four reps per side. Remember, as you come out of that squat, use the power from the legs to help get that weight above your head. You want to rely on those shoulders too much. Those triceps and shoulders are going to be pretty tired from the press-ups. Ah, oh, burpees, sorry, not press-ups, burpees. Okay, and guys, we'll just have, I'll just run through a little bit of scaling for you guys, okay? Obviously, if anyone's got an injury, let me know. But 
I'm going to assume everyone can squat. Okay, so 60 seconds. Let's look for a continuous movement. Um, don't sandbag it. Okay, continuous movement for 60 seconds. Your burpees. Okay, if they are taking uh, touching uh, Ellie Cottrell, touch and go, okay, on the clusters. Yeah, absolutely. If you've got that in your locker, you go for it. Um, burpees. If they are taking you longer than 90 seconds, scale those reps down, okay? I want at least 30 seconds um, on the clusters. Ideally, while we're fresh, we might be looking at a minute on the clusters, um, but if we're dropping past that, then it just becomes a squat and burpee workout. We've had enough of those, okay? So just scale your reps down accordingly. You can always come down to 12, to 10, to eight, whatever you need. Um, to get some work in on those dumbbells or barbell. Any questions before we go? Five times three minute rounds with one minute rest in between. I'll be calling every night, guys. Clock will be running as usual. You good, James? Cool. Everyone good? Okay, good job, guys. 10 second countdown. Kicking off with 60 seconds of air squats in three, two, one. Let's go. Let's focus on position here. These 60 seconds, they're not. It's part of your score. We're not counting these reps. So see so working on that range of motion, especially as we get warmer. Okay. Squat always starts with the hips then the knees. Keep the knees pushed out over the toes, sit down between your legs. We've got 20 seconds until we move into our burpees. As we go down in the squat, try and keep our chest up. 10 seconds, five, three, two, one, 15 burpees or your chosen number. Chest to the floor, jump and arms clap above your head. Get these done within a minute, you're setting a good pace. Thirty seconds gone of this second minute. As soon as these fifteen are done, and you're onto that dumbbell. This is where you get your score. Dumbbell clusters, full clean. Weight touches the floor. You come up, drop into that full squat, drive out of the squat to get that weight above your head. Just past the second minute if you're still on your burpees. Ben and Kate, good to see you on a Zoom. Not sure I've had you on my Zoom before. All right, 30 seconds until our rest. That will be round one done. Yeah, I'm gonna if you want to keep your score, keep a count of these. You'll need them at the end. 15 seconds, guys. Let's try and hold on to our weight. 10. Get a few more reps in this 10 seconds. Five. Three, two. One time, one minute rest. Now, it's inevitable, but let's see if we can minimize how much our reps drop off 
through the workout. Okay. It's 30 seconds gone. Pedro, yeah, absolutely, buddy. Just squat cleans. That's cool. Are the burpees okay for your shoulder? Okay, cool. 20 seconds. Ready for round two, 10 seconds. Back to the 60 seconds of air squats. Five, three, two, one, let's go. You know what a full round feels like. Okay, let's pace it accordingly. Thirty seconds. Remember, we're looking for this continuous movement through these sixty seconds. 10 seconds till we're into our burpees. Five, three, two, one, let's go, burpees. Full extension at the top, nice and vertical, everything's open. Make sure it's not bent over at the top of the burpee. So we get those Ben, Kate, let's get our hands clapping above our head. Let's keep the standard. 25 seconds. Just approaching a minute left of this round. Okay, 60 seconds to the end of this round. Nice, got a few of you on the dumbbells, good to see. Let's make sure the burpees aren't eating into too much of this time. Thirty seconds. Come on, guys. Remember, let's try and minimize that drop off. Can we hit the same number as before? Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. A few more reps. Five. Three. Two, one, rest. Another minute to rest, guys. Two rounds down, three to go. Monday Night Mayhem in full swing. Question in life, Dot. <laughs> 20 seconds. Ten. Three, two, one, let's squat.
Nice guys. Consistent movement in this section of the workout. 25 seconds till we move on. Nice guys, keep going, 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, burpees. Let's go guys. Gone of this. You guys are so good at burpees on the gym opens again. 20 seconds until this minute's up. Go on, guys. Dig in, get these done, get onto our dumbbell. Sixty seconds left of this round. Thirty seconds, guys. Twenty seconds. Come on, nearly time for a bit of a rest. Let's keep moving. Ten seconds. Five. Three. Two, one, rest. Ah. We are well over halfway now, two rounds to go. <laughs> nice dot. It was never going to be a good day, but at least you've done it. 20 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds and we're into round four. Only one more after this round. Five, three, two, one, let's squat. Thirty seconds. Nice guy, some great looking squats. Looking consistent as well. Ten seconds and we're into our burpees. Five. Three, two, one, off you go. Great in.
Nice guys. Come on, stay strong. If you have to rest, be strict with it. A few seconds, back in. Count yourself down. Coming up to the last minute of this round. Okay, 60 seconds. How close can you stay to your highest rep score so far? Make sure back stay tight at the bottom of this, okay? We're not squatting, we're hinging, hips back, back tight, brace at that midline. 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds. Ten. A few more reps. Five. Three. Two. One rest. One more round to go. Seconds, gang. Five seconds. Get ready. Round five. Here we go. Three, two. One, let's go. Ben Dart, I saw you rolling around, stretching out there. Let me know if you need to change anything up. Remember guys, consistent movement for this 60 seconds. It's the last one. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Right, as soon as the sixty seconds is up, straight into these burpees. Ten seconds. Five. Three. Two. One, let's go, let's go. The last set of burpees. Come on guys, keep pushing the pace. Dumbbell, start adding to our score. Twenty seconds. Come on, guys, let's get to that dumbbell. It's coming up to the last minute now. Right, that's your second minute gone. One minute left. Final push, guys. Let's keep moving. 45 seconds and it's all over.
30 seconds. Let's keep it moving. Not the time to put it down now. Hold on. 20 seconds. Don't need to put it down. Just your mind telling you do. Your body's good. 10 seconds. Hold on. Couple more reps. Five. Three. Two. One. Time. Good job, guys. Take a minute. That looked saucy, that one. James is in a pickle. So next Monday, you've got a chipper workout. There's a buy-in and a buy-out. No, and it's a hundred down to ten in tens, no, hundred ninety, eighty, seventy, all the way down. Next Monday is a good one. Sixty-six. What's that? Sixty-six. James's total score of clusters then was sixty-six. <sighs> 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 Okay, it's going to let James, nice Christian, 52, 72 from Sarah, big, 22 from Ellie, 100 from Hannah Williams, oh, wow, nice car, nice Andrew, 80s, nice guy, good, well done everyone, good scores. Okay, so we go through a bit of a stretch, a bit of a cool down. No doubt you need it. Okay, so James has gone into a pigeon pose. So he's got that front leg across his body, like shin on the floor. He's trying to sit his glute down towards the floor. Back leg is out behind him. At the moment, his chest is up. Go and feed your kids calm, well done. Oh, yeah, I'm good, mate. Do 15s. Yeah. Okay, and if you're able to, it's going to lean forward in that position and take your chest, your forearms closer to the floor if you can. Slowly ease out of that, we'll switch sides, back to that first position with an upright torso. And then when you're ready, lean forward a bit and let's get lower to the ground. Okay, slowly ease out of that one, guys. I'm going to come on to our knees. Okay, bum sat back. We're going to push our arms out in front of us. Turn our palms to the ceiling. And just try and drive that chest towards the floor. Ciao, you're sponsored by Noble. That how, how the deal came about. You spoke to your people, he you spoke to the CrossFit Games. Well, you know how Matt Fraser quit, someone approached me, I had agents, <laughs> I got going. <laughs> Market. Okay, onto our backs, guys. One knee up to our chest, and then we're going to pull it off to the opposite side. Just keeping our shoulder blades on the floor, a little bit of downward pressure on that top leg. Uh, 
and switch sides when you're ready. He's out of that one, guys. Done? Done. Cool. And that is it. We will call it a night there. Great job, guys. Another day closer to being back. Great to see you all. Have a good week. Cheers on you. Thanks, James. Thanks, Dan. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Cheers, guys. See you later. Bye.